Hello and welcome to the Yogscast. Today we're back in Torchlight 2. Do you like my dog? It's between your legs and it's wandering around. It's adorable. Oh. Uh, I've got a nice sort of husky dog. He's called Danger. I'm also playing an engineer. Um, I, I used to be playing with the old sword. Do you remember this? Oh, yeah. But I've switched over and I'm actually spec'd out for cannon, which is flipping amazing. Wow. I've never had so much fun uh, in a... In but a, a cannon is actually quite a close quarters weapon in this game. Yeah, it's like a shotgun. It's quite cool. You just go up to people's faces and you fire it straight into them. And you're playing the same character you played before as well, aren't you? The out Outlander. Outlander. The Outlander. You had pistols before, now you've got a bow. Um, I'm slowly rotating around. But that's cool. La, 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 my dog, la, yeah, la. he's amazing. We'll, 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 we'll fill you in on all the details later. But God, my dog's pretty cool too. I call him Goku. Goku. Because um, he's sweet and like re really powerful. <laughs> This is where we left off at the start of Act 2, and yes. we were very disappointed, Jim, because we couldn't play anymore in the beta. Uh, but the game's out today, we're going to resume from here. Oh my god. Uh, here's a little cutscene, probably, if it plays in multiplayer. Oh. Oh, here we go. It sort of fills you in on the story so far. The alchemist, driven by Ordrock's dark heart, has stolen the essence of two guardians. The remaining guardians dwell in the barren lands that surround Zarefesh. The Alchemist will surely strike there next. You must confront the Alchemist before another Guardian falls. There we go. So, um, basically, do you remember the story of this? The Alchemist from Torchlight 1, he was like a playable character. Mm -hmm. uh, he went a bit mad. Yeah. He got a bit corrupted, and now he sort of believes that all ember has to be wiped off the face of the earth. But in order to do that, he needs the power of these guardians. So he's going around wrecking the world, basically, to try and save it. Maybe he's right, though, because ember made him go crazy. So maybe the way to stop people going crazy is to go crazy and destroy all the ember. That might be it. Anyway, um, act two. We're in a desert. I have gained in fame. Uh, oh, good grief. We're in, in a desert, of course, and there's a guardian here. Oh, oh there's a quest down here. What's this fella? The, this is the guardian of air. The guardian of mana has pursued the alchemist into the forsaken vaults, which are guarded by the Sphinx. Oh, no. Uh, oh, God. So... That's a big bird. You might, you might remember that we actually saved one of these big bird guardian things. We saved a couple of them, I think. Yeah, um... But there's, there's plenty more to be saved. This guy wants us to do a quest as well. These guys are weird. They're kind of like robot gold men things. Yeah, I don't... I think they're very cool. They're the Zerify. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. Do you not? He's giving us, like, awards and stuff. There are guys like this in um, Dishonored. These sort of oh, golden people. And right. they play a music box, and it, like, removes all of your powers. <gasps> so... Oh my god. I'm already sort of not liking them. Scared of them. I like them. I think they're awesome. They're very... Um, we always talk about how World of Warcraft this game looks. It's a very sort of similar art style, isn't it? Also, it reminds me of uh, C3PO. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Human cyborg relations. Okay, so I've enough story chat. No one cares about story anyway. So that said, what, level 20, set 21, was it? You've got to be what level, level 21. Uh... 17. Oh. oh dear. Oh, I'm level shit. 20. And you're, you're... I'll carry you, okay. don't worry. This will be a cinch. Okay, thanks. But there's only one set of footprints, Lewis. Oh. oh. Um, wow. So, I've got a cannon and I blow stuff up. My engineer charge bar thing um, basically levels up. It's, it's the sort of thing at the bottom of your screen. You've got one as well, haven't you, I assume? Um, yeah, just gives me passive stats to, like, casting, dodging, crit, and attack speed. Oh. I'm just literally loving going Ooh. through this game, looting chests and blowing stuff up with my cannon. Oh, I'm taking a bit of damage, though. Off these things. Oh, so it was a trap. Ah, it was a trapped chest. Um, now, have you turned off white loot? Dropping. Yes. 
So I don't get spammed with useless crap. Yeah, I turned mine off as well, but I, I did see a bit of white loot oh, there, God. so maybe it's not quite um, set up correctly. If you, if you directly mouse over the item, you'll see it. And the clicking begins. So click, these click, things click, click, are... Click, click. Armadillo! Arm Armadax, actually, is what they're called. Oh, Adorable. Look at him. He's sort of floating a bit. Oh. Uh, it, but that's cool. It feels like we're in sort of space, but we're in this very cold, dark desert at night. It's, yeah. Well, it's night time, because there's a day-night cycle now. It's cool. It's very light. cool. Oh, God! Yeah, so this is all. these are all mobs that are... I guess what the point is that we've jumped into the game. Oh, what's this? Oh, Oh shit, oh, that wasn't good. My a crab! God. A crab king! <laughs> oh, he's lovely! Ostentatious crustacean. Look at him! Oh, I don't want to kill him. Oh, oh he's Christ. adorable. He's doing a fair amount well, you're of damage. Like, level, like nothing. Hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll do a bit of DPS. Whoa! What? Where did he go? Uh, well, he exploded into gold. Did you not see? That all happened a bit quickly. <laughs> <laughs> we incinerated him and he just melted down. Now, do we get separate loot? I think we do, yeah. Okay, good. I got a um, a lucky coin. 4% increase in the amount of gold found socketable. That's like a legend, legendary... I didn't get anything. Oh, my God. Legendary loot. Like gem thing. Here we go. What are these purple little bat things? Uh, they're my netherlings. I have... Um... Oh, right. That's... What do I have? Sh oh, Shadowling, they're called. Shadowling ammo. When I kill something, there's a chance that I spawn one of these sort of flying yep. bat things. And I've also got some abilities that buff them. So I've put points in uh, there. Okay. Which is pretty cool because it means that even putting one point into these things sort of buffs my other abilities. Yeah. Um, oh, we need a golden key to unlock that. Oh, and that one's a fake it's a chest. mimic. Um... Sweet. Uh, are we going to do a bit of fishing? What do you reckon? Uh, well, I've already done. A, I've done a bit. Are you? Are you just got a lob of dynamite in there? I've got a fish. Oh, you're doing. It's an unidentified pet tag. Oh, well, there you it's go. Strange. Played fish. Oh my god, it's really good. It's really, <laughs> really good. Plus forty-seven electric damage for my pet. Good god. Now, I don't really like the fishing mini game, so I just always buy the dynamite and lob dynamite in there. So I've got plenty of fish. Uh, I will change my pet into a mimic. There you go. It's a little mimic chest. Ah. Isn't he adorable? Ah. I love the way they, they jump around and the big teeth. I want one of these as a pet. It reminds me of the luggage. Yeah. Oh, bugger. Ah. Um. Do a spot of fishing. So, hang on, I haven't got my map up, actually. This is, like, typical for me playing a computer game. It's like, ah, something completely uh, not to do with killing shit that I'm getting totally <laughs> focused and distracted by. <laughs> That's fine. You just handle that. So I'm getting a chief. i got a chief oh, for congrats, it. Oh, congrats, man. Apprentice Beta. Now, I have a very good idea what one of the higher achievements for fishing might be That's called. That's what you do when you're baiting. You, you become a, a, a superior baiter. Wow. Uh, a large baiter. Incredible. A skillful baiter. The spider. A spider baiter. Um, so that's your pet. A you horrible, disgust me. Disgusting spider. I've actually got the spider mines Ooh. as well, which are a bit, little bit cool. But they don't scare me because they've only got two legs. Uh, no, they haven't. They've got uh, four legs. They've got the two spider. legs. Anything that's got two or four legs doesn't scare you. But anything that's got more than four legs I find terrifying. <laughs> I think that's perfectly reasonable. There's nothing weird about that. <laughs> um, now, where are we going? We're just walking over these sand dunes. It I mean, what if you saw a man and he had six legs? You'd be absolutely terrified, wouldn't you? Rightly so. I would. I, would, I wouldn't know what to do. Oh my god. We are just owning everything. Told you we would. We're sort of heading for the question marks though, because these yeah. are the sort of questy bits. Oh god, what's going on here? There's loads of terrified prisoners. We've got to save them, Lewis. We've got to save them! We'll rescue them, Simon, don't worry. Um, oh, uh, alright, that'll do. Okay, he wants to give us. Oh, actually, it's not a bad gun. Hmm. 
I might have that. I might equip that, actually. Oh, my God. A new gun, Simon. A demolishing boar gun. What is that? A shotgun? Or... Oh, my God. It's just a better-looking cannon. Oh, it's a cannon. <laughs> it's very ornate. We've rescued another series of people. I'll have a pet tag as a reward. And he has a mission for us. Okay. Um... Look into the Tower of the Moon. Determine if there are any Ezra here scouts uh, there. If you find any, kill them. Oh, we have a new quest. You have a new quest. Uh oh. Right. You have received a quest. Okay. Questy quest. Questy quest. So it's like dawn now. So everything's sort of gone red. It's good, isn't it? Isn't it good? I like it. I like the day-night cycle idea. It makes, you know, things look very different. Just by changing the sort of lighting. Oh, God. What the hell are these things? They're like... I think it's, like, frozen me in place. I don't... Are they like crocodiles? Or... I think they might be basilisks. The God, the f their faces. God, they're horrible. Well... Covering fire. <laughs> I, I, I just love how overpowered you feel in this game. You know? We drool with cannon, sir. Cannon. Is this boss man going to come alive in a minute? I, I think he might be. Yeah. Uh... After we've killed a certain amount of his minions. I need more range on my um my bow, really. I've been putting points into increasing its range, but it's still really low. Its range? What, like, how far across the screen you can shoot? Yeah. Troll thrower. Bone cloud summon swift, it says here. Um, he's got... He's teleporting? I don't, I'm just going to lay down some rocket fire into him. Die! Oh. Jerk. Oh. Not enough mana. I don't have enough mana. There we go. Oh, and I dinged. Grats. Oh, look at all this stuff. Good So much loot. There's loot everywhere. So much useless crap to give to my pet to carry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he likes that. <laughs> there you go, Goku. Treat yourself. Okay. So that wasn't actually anything that was on our quest, was it? No, it just looked like it was. It's just a thing to kill. Now that golden chest, that little golden chest we found, the mm -hmm. key will be somewhere on this map, won't it? There are there are certain mobs that look like fairies that will drop. Oh god, here we go, another rare champion guy. Oh right. Oh, let's check out my weapon actually, because. Uh, okay, you do that. I'll kill the champion guy. It's six out of ten champion kills. Right. It's an augmented weapon, and once I get ten champion kills, it, like, boosts the weapon somehow. Do you have to do the, the, the killing blow? I have no idea. I'll let you get the killing blow. I'll just see if it, see if it actually works. Seven out of ten. Oh, good. Tome animal handling. What the hell's that? Uh, it's probably a uh, spell thing that you can equip, but it's like might be like a passive one. Um... Increases pet and minion's power, decreases the pet's town travel time. There you go, that's pretty good. Pre wow, and I got a chief. Pretty good. <laughs> For equipping a spell. Yeah. Grats, man, grats. Uh, I've got heal self one as well. I might, I can give that to my pet, because my pet can learn spells. I think. I think your pet can learn certain spells. Yeah, actually, I'll do that as well. How do I... I'm not sure how you equip a pet spell. I think you just oh, give it to your pet and then you right-click on it and the pet will learn it. A new trick! There you go. Mine's learned Elemental Damage 1. Elemental Overload 1. <laughs> See, I'm not sure that does anything. It makes it glow. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, Come on, Goku. Well, who knows whether that will work or not. I'd like giving my pets like summon zombie and stuff. Oh, phase beast! Oh god, yeah, kill that thing. These guys open portals into lands with lots of treasure in. 
So they? There we go, face portal. Right, get in there. Oh right. god. I'm coming. What's in here then? Phase Beast Challenge. Right. Now I did one of these before and it was a whole bunch of spiders and you had to poison all the spider nests. Right. Uh, so yeah, I enjoyed that immensely. That was lovely. <laughs> oh Christ. Uh, careful. It was a trap. Oh. 